Hi there guys, Adam from The Beard Solution here, back with another video. And in today's video, I'm going to be going over alternatives to minoxidil. So you guys have been asking me about a few of these uh, over the past few months, and I thought I should probably get around to doing a video on it. So without further ado, let's get into it. Okay guys, so I'm going to talk to you about three products. They are trioxidil, nanoxidil, and aminexil. The one thing for you to consider is that all the advertisements that you will see out there for these alternatives for minoxidil are talking about for the scalp and not for the beard and the scalp hair is not the same as beard hair. This hair is actually reduced or is lost through the miniaturization of follicles by the hormone dihydrotestosterone in the instance that you actually have male pattern baldness, you have the gene for it, otherwise it doesn't seem to have any effect. The beard, on the other hand, is grown by the hormone dihydrotestosterone, so we hypothetically don't really want to block it here. That's pretty logical. If you're on board with that, okay, cool, let's get into it. Trioxidil is a DHT blocker, and I see all of you sending me links to, well, not all of you, but I see all of you that do send me the links to Trioxidil um, have completely just not read any of how it works, you've looked at the fact that, you know, it's going to give you less side effects, which is obviously ideal if you're using minoxidil, but you need to start reading what it's actually doing and how it's working. So it works by blocking DHT, which is obviously not going to be very good for here. Now, some of you will argue, well, I'm using minoxidil 5% with 5% trioxidil and it's working perfectly fine for me. Yeah, because of the minoxidil. And from what we know, vellus hairs, so the baby thin hairs that we grow first on our minoxidil journeys, are not dependent upon androgens. The minoxidil is what's growing them. Now, obviously the terminal hairs are, from what I have read and researched, that's what is actually being grown by the dihydrotestosterone, the terminal hairs. So bear that in mind. Trioxidil, in my opinion, is not gonna work in the same way for your beard as it's touted to help on your scalp. So of course, if you're a scalp user of minoxidil, it could have some real good benefits to help you block DHT on your scalp, but for the beard, it's really not a viable option in my opinion. The next one to talk to you about is nanoxidil. Now I'm not gonna go into loads of detail here because Sam already did a really great video where he broke down nanoxidil, so I'm gonna link you that in the description. But essentially, it works again as a DHT blocker because of the uh, copper peptides, and again, it brags that it has no of the side effects from minoxidil that people don't want. So. Uh, that includes uh, facial hair growth. It actually lists that. Uh, Sam talks about that more in his video. I'll let you look at it there. Uh, following on from that there as well, I've seen a few things out there online uh, that the actual lab that creates nanoxidil also does make minoxidil and doesn't claim that it's better than minoxidil. They claim that it is better for people that are suffering from some of the more negative side effects from using minoxidil. And that, of course, is again for the scalp because it blocks DHT. Although its molecular structure from what I can gather is very similar to um, minoxidil. So I can't say for sure that it won't get you some vellus gains around here, but it doesn't really seem, in my opinion, like it will. So you're better to save your money or get minoxidil because it's far cheaper from what I gather. Finally, Aminexil. Now this has been designed and created by L'Oreal uh, and it's been touted out there as, you know, the future of uh, hair loss, like, product and all that kind of stuff. But the only study I've been able to find uh, where they've compared minoxidil to aminexil has shown that minoxidil is far better than aminexil at actually um, regrowing and keeping hair. But not only that, aminexil was shown to have no regrowth capabilities, but was shown to be able to retain hair. Um, now, I will put the link to that study in the description if you want to go and check it out. But what that's essentially saying is that doesn't work in the same way as minoxidil. It might help people retain their hair on their scalp that's not the same as growing new hair elsewhere and one of the reasons why minoxidil is so good at that is because of its main side effect which is hypertrichosis okay and that is the unwanted hair growth that people get over their bodies but we are purposefully applying it to our face to get that hair growth there but if you're a minoxidil user you will know you may have had some hairs that have grown up around here or your arm hair will have got even hairier or you may have got a few chest hairs that have grown or you may have got some more leg hair or even more ass hair who knows but you will probably have got more hair growth elsewhere on your body especially if you're using the liquid because it's more absorbed into your skin so guys that's something for you to really bear in mind when you're looking at these alternatives to minoxidil it doesn't mean that it will work the same for the beard. So please bear in mind, if it blocks DHT, 
it's a write-off, in my opinion, um, for helping for facial hair growth. And also look at the mechanism and how it works, how it actually helps keep that hair. So if it's through hair regrowth, then potentially, okay, but it depends if that hair regrowth is by blocking DHT or not. I know it can get quite complicated out there, so feel free to send me products if you're unsure, and I'll be able to have a little look and a little research into it and tell you whether it has DHT blockers in or not. Um, now, that's pretty much it, guys. Hopefully, that's answered some of your questions regarding some of those alternatives to minoxidil. Uh, of course, do let me know in the comments your opinions. Uh, if you do have any comments, questions, queries, or suggestions for future videos, uh, please do like the video if you did find it helpful or informative in any particular way. Uh, and don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell as well if you want to keep up to date with videos on this channel. I've been Adam at The Beard Solution, and I will see you guys again next time. But you don't rate me cause I ain't got a blue tick But I got one on the top and that gave me I don't even know what's real